Let's now explore how to solve number 13 on the 2024 Amy. Let P be the least prime for which there exists a positive integer n such that n to the 4 plus 1 is divisible by P squared. So basically, what is the smallest prime such that n to the 4 is negative 1 mod P squared? So something you probably know is that n to the P times P minus 1 by Euler's theorem is 1 mod P squared. And take a look. We know that n, n to the 4 is negative 1 mod p squared. And therefore, by this, we also have n to the 8th is 1 mod p squared. So, if this thing is 1 mod p squared, then we must have that 8 divides p times p minus 1. Because 8 is like the least kind of power. This is the theory of orders. It is the order of n mod p squared. So the order always has to divide this p times p minus 1 term, right? Because let's say, let's say 8 did not divide p times p minus, well, let's say it did not divide p times p minus 1. Well, then we would not have that, if 8 is the smallest value such that n to the 8 is 1 mod p squared, then we would have 8 times 8 to the something, let's say 8a would be 1 mod p squared. And if this is if there's no if p times c minus one is not a multiple of it, then then p times c minus one will not be one mod p squared. So it's a contradiction. So this, just by orders, and this will make a lot more sense if we learn what orders are. Eight must divide p times p minus one, and this implies the prime is one mod eight. And looking at us, we see the first one mod eight prime is seventeen. So now we've solved half the problem, but really it's not really half. It's more like the first ten percent of the problem. P equals seventeen. Now find the least positive integer m such that m to the 1 plus 4 is divisible by 17 squared. So find the least positive integer m such that this thingy is true. So again, we see that the order of m has to be 1 mod, has to be 8, mod 289. So first thing, it's a good idea whenever you have these kind of square mods, p squared, it's a good idea to just first look at mod 17, and then after that, consider mod 289. So for what value will we have m to the 8th is equal to m to the 4th is one mod seven, negative 1 mod 17? Now this is kind of a little bit of an annoying calculation, but the idea is now we just look for when is... If m to the 4 is negative 1 mod 17, which you can write this as 16 as well, m squared has to be either 4 or negative 4, or 4 or 13 mod 17. And then from here, you know, it's because each each value of thing can only, it can only have one, at most two other things of it squared because it's a prime. That's like a, a general property. Or, you know, never mind, <laughs> ignore that. That's not necessarily true. It just happens to be true in this case. And you can check all the other ones to make sure that there's no other values mod 17 that work for m squared. And now we get that m is either 2 or negative 2 mod, so 215 mod 17. And then if m squared is 13 mod 17, then let's just, have, I don't remember this, so let's see, 30, 47, 64, so 8, and then, or 9, right? Because once you find 8, you know 9 works just by negative mods, right? 8 squared is the same as negative 8 squared mod 17. So we find that these are the only possible values of m mod 17. And now we find the value mod 17, we want to generalize it to 17 squared. The best tool for this, binomial theorem. So we consider all of the cases separately. So 17k plus 2, let's just the first case, right? Let's say it's a remainder of 2, right? So now we can just say m is equal to 17k plus 2, right? Let's just say m is this. So now m to the 4th is 17k plus 2 to the 4th power. And take a look. Every term but the last two is going to be multiple of 17 squared. So we just care about the last terms, last two terms, which are 4 choose 1 times 17k times 2 cubed. So in general, when we do for the other remainder cases, this part is also going to be the same, plus 2 to the 4. So now the question is, when will this be negative 1 mod 289? 
And let's just add one to both sides and say, when will this be 0 mod 289, All right? Because that's much easier to think about. When will this happen? So let's just first divide up by 17, right? This is going to be a multiple of 17 by definition. Otherwise, it wouldn't even be 0. It would, this thing wouldn't even be negative 1 mod 17. So this has to be a multiple of 17. This is obviously a multiple of 17. So let's just divide up by 17. And we get that we need to have 68 times 2 cubed plus 2 to the 4th plus 1, 17, divided by 17, 1. We have to have this thingy is 0 mod 17. Sorry, 68. There should be k here. And now we just simplify this. And no, that's not what it's supposed to be. We divided by 17, so I should have 4k here. So now 4 times 8, 32, that's 15 mod 17. We have 15k plus 1 is 0 mod 17. And now we just try values. In my opinion, the easiest way is probably just guess and check. And let's do that. 16, 31, 46, 61, 76, 90, 91, 106. Did I miss something here? 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 6. Okay, so 8 is the first value that will work. Yeah, that should be that. Oh, no, no, no. 9 is the first value that works because then we get 1, 3, 6. So k equals 9 here. And that will give us an answer of 1, 5, 5, 5. Now, could this be the answer? Maybe. But what if the other cases produces something that is even smaller? So now the other process, I'm going to go a little faster. It's basically the same thing over and over again. And that's probably a little bit annoying about, part, about this problem, but it's not that bad, really. We do the same thing again. I, I'm just ignoring those other terms. They don't matter. Just the same thing, basically. We need this to be 0 mod 289. And now we just divide. We get 4 times 8 cubed plus... 8 to the 4 plus 1, 8 to the 4 plus 1 divided by... So what, what you can do here is find 8 to the 4 plus 1, that's 4097. And then you take that mod 17, or of course that's obviously going to be 0. So you took 8 to the 4 plus 1, you divide that by 17, you get 241. So now we have this. And now we have a K here, I always forget that. And now we just solve, okay, what is the smallest value of k for which this might work? And I'm going to save you the computation here. Just find this mod 17, find this mod 17, then do a little bit of a guess and check. You end up getting that k equals 6 is the smallest value that works, and that gives an answer of 110. But again, we should check the other ones just to make sure there's nothing that could be even smaller. So now, same procedure again. I'm not going to rewrite it. 4 times 9 cubed k plus 9 to the 4th plus 1. And then we also have 4 times 15 cubed k plus 15 to the 4th plus 1. And it's kind of a little bit tedious here, so I don't really want to do it right now. But you can do it for practice. It will be a good exercise. Find this mod 17. Find this mod 17. Then find out the smallest value of k such that this thingy is 0 mod, 7, mod 289, right? The same procedure we've been doing. And same thing for this one. And it turns out that both the values of k are going to be much higher, right? The thing is here, k, the minimum k is going to produce the minimum value as well for m. As long as, if the k, are, if the k is smaller, the value will always be smaller. And if the k's are the same, then whichever one has a smaller remainder will be smaller. And it turns out the k's for this one are something bigger, like 8 or 9 or something. I don't remember exactly. But then it turns out, okay, we find the minimum is indeed this one, 110. And I... No, I skipped a little bit there, but ho hopefully the solution still helped you understand how to approach these types of problems. Thanks for watching.